Hello, I'm Morris Berger, and today we're talking about the RidePod BT, Metrocount's dedicated portable bicycle and scooter counter. This little black and blue block might look just like any of our boxes, but it's designed to monitor bicycle and scooter traffic from shared paths, on-road bicycle lanes, and even in mixed traffic. The RidePod BT, standing for Bicycle Tube Counter, detects and timestamps every axle in the same fashion that our RoadPod VT, the vehicle traffic counter does, but specifically related to active transport traffic. A noticeable difference are the thin wall tubes that are used for the RoadPod VT. This in combination with the optimized firmware and the highly sensitive air switches allow us to detect the lighter air pulses provided by bicycles and scooters. The raw data files obtained from the RidePod BT can be analysed using MetroCount's MTE software, as well as our newest online software platform, Atlas, that allows us to work with detailed, customizable reports that we can share, print, and upload to other software packages such as GIS. There's a vast array of information that's available from our system including such things as average daily rider volumes or volumes within any specific time range that you desire, speeds by direction, classification so that we can split short wheelbase scooters, children's bikes from standard bikes, even longer cargo bikes, and we can also understand moped and motorbike movements using this whole system. We can determine the direction of travel, the real direction of travel, no matter where the rider is traveling on the path, as well as obtaining gap and headway information. Accuracy is extremely important when monitoring such a small sample size in the active transport field, certainly in comparison with vehicle traffic. When we're looking at annual growth trends in the region of 5%, for instance, and you're using a bike counter where the accuracy might be plus or minus 5% or more than that from actual, then we would misinterpret or lose the definition of what's happening in our cycling movements. We'd lose the understanding of our growth trends and patterns. The system is extremely accurate for a number of reasons. The RidePod BT uses specific algorithms designed with the knowledge that we're looking at two axle devices allow us to distinguish between cyclists traveling in tight groups or clusters unlike loop counters which detect the length of bicycles due to the change in the loops inductance the ride pod bt detects detects all bicycles no matter what material they're made of including carbon fiber bikes you can read more about the testing done on the ride pod bt system in an article available from the link in the description box below. Not only is the RidePod BT system accurate and reliable, it thrives on low power consumption. The system can be used in all weather and lighting conditions for around four years without the need to change the battery or connect to any external power supply. The high memory capacity means that you can record up to a million bicycles, so you can use them on high volume, cycleways or even on long-term surveys for semi-permanent solutions. Installation is very easy and can be done on many surfaces including asphalt, bitumen, concrete, chip seal and even gravel. Tubes are easily removable. You can download your data simply with the MTE software, move your system to a new survey location to begin the next survey campaign. The RidePod BT can also be connected to the remote access link as we've got right here, which allows you to remotely download data from your site, check sensor balance from any computer using the MTE software. MetroCount provides remote access service packages for many road authorities and local government agencies worldwide. So you can just relax, receive your data and reports in your inbox. Now the RidePod BT system is used in a variety of different purposes around the world. 
Uh, one example, for instance, is in the city of Amsterdam. The RidePod BT was used to determine whether mopeds legally allowed to ride on bicycle lanes were the cause of crashes and injuries. The study showed that those vehicles with a wheelbase of 1.25 to 1.4 metres were travelling at 10 to 15 kilometres higher than those of standard bikes, that is 0.8 to 1.2 metres. The City of Amsterdam legislated to move the mopeds from the bike lanes and shifted them onto the road. Average crash rates around 100 per annum previously dropped to 29 in 2019. In the city of Aysen in Chile, the RIPOD BT system was used to determine where permanent bicycle counters should be installed. Now our permanent system, the RIPOD BP, Bicycle Piezoelectric System, allows you to continuously receive data remotely 24-7, 365 days of the year. In Paris, the RIPOD BT system was used to determine the percentage of the different modes traveling on a bike lane in relation to whether they were commuters or leisure riders based on different statistics such as direction of travel, the peak hour volume, the day of the week. If you want more information about the RidePod BT system, send an email to info at metrocount.com or contact your local MetroCount office and we'll get back to you straight away. Thank you so much for watching.